The Gunfighters seems to insist the basic appeal of the historical serials in the classic Doctor Who run, and why they were tempting so so many of them apparently during the first Doctor era in particular. They wanted to demonstrate a variety of different scenarios from human history in order to demonstrate uh, both, you know, an educational prowess that this program and the BBC could offer to the world and also demonstrate a variety of interesting storytelling and, and moral fables you could, you could depict across time and, and empower humanity and we could reflect on how far we've come but also on how much, how much commonality we have as a species across the centuries. That's all well and good. Uh, the the problem I have with the existence of the historicals is they just reduce the production and the serial in question to some sort of novelty pop culture take on whatever the typical television depiction of that era might be. In the case of um, the Romans, it's not so bad I think because you know doing a kind of Roman era sitcom shtick parody uh, farcical comic take on the the pepler at the time in the early 60s as i feel they were doing there i think that that's entertaining and interesting and a lot more fascinating and entertaining than it would have been had it was it what is it a serious you know attempt to well it does educate inherently because it does because it's a period piece and it shows a lot of features of roman history in the time of emperor nero but ultimately if it were a serious kind of thriller it would be banal and they just have to fill in the gaps of a thriller bracket and place it within Nero's reign. And instead they they write a comedy and they you know, they let humor organically generate from this fish out of water scenario. And so the Romans it worked well. The gunfighters, I'm unsure of this. It's an attempt to do one of these goofy homages to an American Western show. There were dozens of them. And it's too much kind of ha-ha, like you kind of wink at the audience parody, and it's not... I'm glad it's not a sincere attempt to retell the gunfight at the OK Corral. I mean, it is that too. And it's not quite that Star Trek episode in season three. A part of me almost felt, oh yeah, this is where they go to that planet, that's the gunfight... Oh wait, no, 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 it is the gunfight at the OK Corral. It's not that Star Trek episode. It also in Star Trek season three. Perhaps it was. That's why I am confused. Interesting is the gunfight is an example of where Doctor Who's initial season three is commonalities of the original Star Trek season three a little bit you could say the gunfighters is too much of an example of how a historical story during the first Doctor's run can be a we can do with this genre of television episode this week or oh, four weeks unfortunately it would be better if it was just one week it really uh, this isn't a bad serial it can be entertaining and but the problem is it wouldn't be if it weren't for the presence of the Doctor, Stephen, and Dodo. And, well, I should say just the Doctor if William Hartnell decides to go on holiday and it's just Stephen and Dodo. This is certainly a bad serial. But it's just the, the anachronistic factor of the Doctor's wit and his potential understanding of how the events will play out and William Hartnell's performance and his Edwardian era kind of leisure class witticisms about the events in question. This is entertaining and uncanny and amusing, although unfortunately it's the only thing saving what is otherwise a very sort of banal novelty affair in this The Gunfighter serial. I wish it weren't the case, but that's just how I feel in this instance. Maybe my opinion on this serial will improve as we continue through it. Tune in next time on AOD's Classic Doctor Who Retrospective to find out if you are so inclined.